And so now when you think about it, the uses for it, what are some of the uses? You talk about broadleaf, but you know, are there, are there um, special plants that, that you would even say, you know, yes, or you know, encourage people to take it after? Well, the, the, the packaging that we have here is just the one gallon. It's a ready to use. Um, it's, easily, it's easy to apply. It's a, it's, it works as a burn down killer where everything, all vegetation it comes into contact with, it's going to kill that undesirable plant. Uh, what happens is the acetic acid actually destroys the cell walls within the plant, so no more photosynthesis can take place, essentially burning all the top growth. Uh, that being said, it's not systemic to where it will not enter the plant, go into the root system to kill the root. It's only going to kill the top growth. So on broadleaf weeds, knocks them out real quick. Uh, the smaller stages, the smaller the surface area to cover, the faster the kill, the less product to use. Um, grassier weeds that have root systems will take a couple applications to knock them back because they've got that stored energy within the root system. Okay, so if I understood that correctly, and I'm an Aggie, which doesn't mean that I have any agricultural background, but. <laughs> The, what I heard was you spray this stuff on the, the, the weed that you want to take out. It essentially inhibits its ability to synthesize light uh, through photosynthesis, which essentially begins the death process in the plant. Well, that's correct. It basically destroys the cell walls of the plant, fries them, right. and then they can no longer 